Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am back from a lovely holiday, enjoying myself in the sunshine. I've caught myself a little bit of a tan and I'm feeling very well rested and happy to be here. But today I wanted to do my current favorite face, which isn't what I was wearing while I was away, but prior to me being away, this was basically the look I was sporting and everyone was so like loving it and so nice. And I always say I'm not a makeup pro, but I'm a makeup fanatic and you know, I was, I've always been dissed on YouTube about like my my makeup not being very good and you know what it's not been the best but it's getting there okay time and patience honeys time and patience um so I'm gonna kind of do a current favorite face um and I'm gonna try and do these regularly because I don't you know change up my look that much but when I do it's like okay I'm gonna show you what I'm using I kind of got a different setup as well I feel like I want a more serene but a little bit more glamorous setup for my makeup videos here and there and it's a little bit easier for me if I'll be honest with you <laughs> I'll link everything in the description bar below so you know exactly what I'm using and I think that's about it oh I'm looking at changing my upload schedule as well so I'm gonna start uploading in the morning on the weekend so it's either gonna be Saturday or Sunday morning at 10 let me know what you guys think is best and I'm gonna stick to my Thursday uploads as well but I know what I'm like like on the weekend I like chill in the morning you know I get my laptop might sit in my bed might be like what's been going on on the inner webs um so <laughs> so if that's what you do let me know or if you do something completely different I'd love to know but that's it really I'm sorry that I'm talking so long this is video is going to be kind of like a chatty one as well and thank you so much for all the love and support on my last video I had to be a little bit real a bit candid and I, I keep saying that I kind of like closed up for a period of time because I got slightly overwhelmed but I feel like my hormones are right now and I'm feeling like myself so um yeah but anyway I'm gonna shut up now and enjoy the tutorial thanks for watching guys now at the moment um I'm loving all kinds of luminosity Ooh, my hands are really dry real dry so what I'm using on my face is the jo the light masters primer from Giorgio Armani and this is just a nice light reflecting um, primer and you can see it's kind of got some luminousness luminosity to it before I put my foundation and stuff on and I feel like I'm loving foundations with a bit more of a glow right now um because when i was on holiday i was glowing i was like mm, <laughs> glow glow so i've got new brushes um which were sent to me from ambi rose which is actually a brush line created by another youtuber called chanel they're amazing and soft and there's nothing like having new and fresh brushes to use so i'm going to go ahead and just dot my foundation on and i'm finding that i'm liking a warmer color right now And this brush is super soft and amazing. It's giving me all kinds of airbrushed effect. Loving this. So as I was saying, I really haven't been loving the like kind of weight loss and weight gain and water retention that you get. And I'm just being really honest with it, you know. Seeing yourself change so much is can be a little bit distressing. But in the same breath, obviously, you know why it's happening and it kind of balances everything out. But it's still something that I'm adapting to but not long to go I put a little bit more around my chin area because the chin area is my darker area and we are halfway through the first month of the new year how are you guys doing have you broken any resolutions yet is it going as you thought have you had any you know pitfalls happen yet I know what it's like not everything's perfect but we'll get there there's nothing like using fresh brushes, you know, when you've been using old brushes for a while. So for my concealer, I'm going to stick with the Double Wear, which is from Estee Lauder. And I was using the LA Girl, like, in my most recent looks. But I'm finding it just too drying and, like, quite draggy and a little bit ashy. So I'm going to just let that one sit for the moment. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it under my eyes. And this was definitely my concealer of the year probably might be this the same for this year but i am looking at just trying to switch out my makeup a little bit more so if you've got any recommendations please let me know and i honestly don't really like highlighting this area of my face that much i feel like it doesn't actually suit me it's funny there are so many like trends like beauty trends 
that are you know really popular and stuff online and then when you do them you're like you know what this doesn't actually look good on me i feel like i've got quite a broad forehead i have a short forehead but it's broad i don't need to broaden it by adding more attention to it in my opinion i'm just gonna let that sit and i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows this is the double brow brush from estee lauder and i'm gonna use the anastasia um dip brow pomade in dark brown and i'm gonna be honest i don't think this pomade is all that i actually think that the mac one is nicer and i know that's literally sacrilege to say because obviously it's you know the best product and everybody loves it I think it's a bit grey for my skin um, and I think I need something warmer however the the um, eyebrow gel is really really good I'm gonna go in with my mini beauty blender is this called the mini beauty blender I'm not even sure I'm just going to tap in my concealer around my eye and everything Okay, I had to get something. I've got the L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Mist and that's just gonna dampen it, but also it helps the makeup to last as well. And I was gonna use this at the very end. Lovely jubbly. Now, when it comes to my brows, obviously putting concealer on them is amazing, but I'm kind of not feeling that overly highlighted look. So I usually would use my um, foundation color as well as combining it with a concealer as well, just so it's not so bright, you know? And I've been loving all these videos about like, you know, trends to leave behind in 2015, you know, lots of people have been putting them out. And there's some I totally agree with and some I'm like, I really like that. But um, definitely the over highlighted halo brow is uh, one to go. And actually what I should have done first is put my brow gel on. So this is the brow gel in Espresso, which it just warms up a little bit. And you know, I was thinking about bleaching my brows, like going um, light brown on the brows. I saw it recently from a makeup artist and I was like, that looks so nice, even on some of my skin tone. And it wasn't like bleach, like blonde, but it was like more of a softer brown than a harsh black. And I think it looks really, really nice. I think that's what I'm gen genuinely going to do. I just need a pro to like help me do it. And it sounds like my husband has come pairing gifts. Is that a croissant I smell? Now this one's looking all kinds of thin at the end, so I'm gonna just fill that out. When it comes to the baking or just powdering, I'm still using the Benai powders. I do find that they are still a little heavy and I'm combining banana and topaz together to get my perfect color. Personally, I don't like the over, overly, overly baked look, if that makes any sense. Um, while that sets, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my eyes. I'm using the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer. It says anti-aging on there, I didn't know that. Babe, can I have a croissant, please? Mmm, I literally love croissants. Mmm, mmm. And I always say I hate when people hum when they eat, like it's not even a joke. So um, for my eyes, I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I saw Jaclyn Hill's um, favourites and this was in one of them and I was feeling all kinds of special because I was like, this is my favourites. And last year, I basically used this for almost every look. And this has literally been my most favourite look because it is just a gorgeous, cool, warm and neutrals palette. It's got everything you need in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tap that. I'm gonna tap that on my brow, on my brow, on my eyelid, hello. And this kind of just lightens up my eyelids because I've got really dark eyelids, <laughs> basically. I'm gonna go ahead and use this color here. I'm gonna just use that in my kind of bridgy area. I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of like a warm purple. It just warms everything up. And then the brown that is there. And I love when I can just do a whole look with one palette. I'm just gonna use that here to just cut my crease slightly. There is just crumbs everywhere. I'm just, every moment I'm just stopping and just eating. I'm loving it. Um, and if there's a palette I say that everyone needs to have, it's basically the Max um, Eyeshadow 15, um, 15 Colors palette in the Warm Neutrals. I can do an, a look every single day with just this palette. And I'm going to go ahead and just add some gold and stuff into my tear duct areas because this is a really matte look. But I like to just, you know, add a little bit of twinkle in my eye. Or I should just dust this off as well. Let's get rid of all the baking because I'm feeling very well, very well baked. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just, I go for these three kind of goldy colours. I just tap between them and I just add gold into my tear duct 
and I just like the way it just gives me a little bit more brightness when I'm wearing a matte look. I'm going to go ahead with a black eyeliner. This is a black eyeliner from The Body Shop. And I usually close my eyes, but I'm trying not to do that because when I close my eyes, it kind of goes down there. But actually, if I can try and keep my eyes open, it's not so bad. But I look a crazy one when I'm doing it, so don't laugh at me. Oopsie. And then I'm going to liquid line the top. What am I going to liquid line at the top of my eye with? Aha! I'm going to use the Rimmel Scandalous Eyes. This is a really good liquid liner. It gives me a nice, dark, defined line. I always struggle with getting my eyeliner matching. Hopefully they kind of are. They look alright. I'm going to go ahead and use the wonderful mascara as well from Rimmel. Then I'm going to put my false lashes on. The difference that lashes make to like a look is ridiculous and I'm not going to lie, I'm definitely a full time lash girl and that's why I love having the false um, lash extensions. But mine of law, I've got a discount code I believe in the description bar below so check it out. Um, and the ones that I'm wearing, what are these called? Cannot remember for the life of me. These have become my new favourite ones as well but I will link the details as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, Michael's literally the provider of food, loving it! I'm literally, oh, I shouldn't show off, but I'm literally the most spoilt girl ever. My husband knows that the way to my heart is through my belly. I don't do gifts, but I do do food. Lashes are on. What I haven't done is one, two contour and a little bit of highlight, you know. You guys know I love to um, contour with foundation. And I just basically use a foundation that is darker than my skin tone. And I do it around my nose and slightly around my cheeks. I don't do too heavy a contour just to narrow my bridge and then I do a line there just to give me a little bit of a button nose a tip but blending is essential and it's so funny loads of people have been commenting on like this my face looking different and stuff and obviously I think it looks a bit different but maybe you guys are noticing it more but I am you know contouring a little bit and I've got a new camera I've got the Sony a5100 people have been asking me about what I use um, for like my um, Instagram photos which everybody uses I'll link it in the description bar below but I do find that it changes the shape of my face no word of a lie it definitely makes my face look different to the iPhone camera and initially I didn't like what it was doing but um, I kind of warmed to it and I must show you I've been loving the NARS Stephen Klein this is a highlight and contour kit it's called Vengeful the glow on this is ridiculous so I put a tip a bit on the tip of my nose And down my bridge and then just to this part of my cheek now you can sometimes overglow and I've said that overglow can look kind of greasy but do you know what I'm sun-kissed right now so I'm just gonna enjoy it I just need to blend my nose contour a little bit more because it's looking a little harsh. Now, my lips, I feel, stole the show. On my Snapchat when I showed what I was wearing, my lips, people were, like, loving it. It's this colour from LA Splash called Untamed. And I bought it when I was in New York. I haven't seen it here or anything. And it's kind of like a matte brown. And it dries just really matte and really nice. And then I've been combining that with Stingray from Colourpop Cosmetics, which is the collaboration with It's My Ray Ray. And I've been combining the two. Now this product, yeah, it was about $14, so I, I don't know, I think that's kind of kind of cheap, but kind of not cheap, but um, it smells funny, and it dries your lips out, but it looks amazing, so you kind of got to balance it up, I'm not even going to lie, it kind of makes your lips kind of crusty, so I moisturise beforehand, and then afterwards I just make sure I get it all off, but, um, and I have to be really careful with application. And the other thing I've been doing is I'm just careful the way I shape my lips because I've got very much lips that look just like they're just there. They're big and just there. Whereas I want to try and create more of a shape to it, like more of a Cupid's bow. Now, I'm not someone who clearly needs to overdraw my lips. If anything, they kind of need to be underdrawn because they're quite big. But I let this dry a little bit because the colour changes completely when it's dry. And then I'm going to add a stingray into the middle. I'm going to highlight just a little bit above my Cupid's bow as well. So that is what it looks like dried. It's kind of like a mauvey brown. <laughs> I feel so sophisticated like this. And I'm going to go ahead and add Stingray in the middle. And that's what the lips look like when um, it's done. So I kind of have to blend them together to really make it work. But I feel like 
I usually have to wear two tones to make my lips look good because they don't have much shape to them. But when I wear the two tone, it kind of makes them look a little bit more shapely and pretty. But that is my current favorite go-to look and I've just been loving it. Um, that's it really. If you'd like to see more of, of like a current favorite face kind of thing regularly, then let me know in the comments. If there's anything else you want to see, let me know. I'll be willing to share with y'all. And um, that's basically it. I'm gonna catch you later and thank you for watching bye yes hello that is my happy food dance like <laughs> i'm not rotten i'm just spoiled hey guys welcome to my channel so clearly i'm not at home apologies for the noise i am in sunny barbados right about now and 